scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on course at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I decree and declare my life It's a testimony. Isaiah 62. Let's keep standing. Isaiah chapter 62. We'll read the first seven verses. And if I were you, I would believe everything we're about to read. For Zion's sake, I will not hold my peace. And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth it says and the gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the lord shall name verse 3 thou shalt also be a crown of glory in the hand of god a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Mm. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate. Thou shalt be called Hephzibah, and thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighted in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem which shall never hold their peace day or night he says ye that make mention of the lord keep not silence seven he says and give him no rest till he establish until he makes jerusalem a praise in the earth lift your voice and say father i declare my life must become a testimony I place a demand upon your grace. I place a demand upon your power. Pray. Give him no rest till he establishes you. 
give him no rest till he makes your life a praise in the earth Shabarakatu Lord we believe your word we continue to press we continue to press until we become testaments hallelujah one last prayer point and then you'll be seated lord my spirit and my mind is open not just your spirit my spirit man and my mind is open lift your voice and pray i receive illumination are you praying outside are you praying my spirit is open my mind is open hallelujah praise the lord please be seated spirit of the living god we're here again and we trust the supply of your power we receive spiritual intelligence we receive illumination the bible says true knowledge shall the just be delivered therefore lord we declare by the power of the holy spirit that we are rising from one dimension to the other and tonight oh god our hearts and our minds are opened in the name of jesus christ good evening everybody it matters to god that we grow it doesn't just matter to god alone that we are saved the entire tripartite nature of man must be involved in expressing the victory of christ listen very carefully the entire tripartite nature of man must be involved in expressing the victory of christ your spirit your mind your physical body your life the entire three realms in the realm of the spirit the realm of your mind and even in the physical the entire tripartite dimension must be able to successfully communicate the victory of christ if one or more of these realms um does not successfully communicate the victory of christ you are going to limit the presentation of the power the victory the reality of the victory of christ will not find full expression in our lives therefore we must continue to press listen carefully to make sure that christ is a contention and it's a journey to make sure that christ is revealed in every aspect of our lives in the realm of the spirit you are sound spiritually you are growing you are conforming to the image the character of the christ are we together your life is becoming a representation of god you are hosting very superior dimensions of his presence then your mind is enlightened you are sustaining an understanding that is higher far higher than the intelligence of the average human being and then your physical environment all the auxiliary systems that support the fact that you are in christ you are only fruitful in your christian experience when your entire tripartite being participates in revealing the victory of christ if i am sound spiritually and i am anointed but then my mind is barren and unfruitful there is a dimension of god that my life will never be able to present are we together now yes if i am wealthy and i am influential and i have a healthy mind but my spirit is dead there is a dimension of god i will never be able to communicate the lopsidedness 
in the teaching about the revelation of Christ through a man, what the Bible calls the mystery of godliness, is the reason why there's a lot of unfulfillment in our Christian experience. So it's as though you should select one area where you want Christ to be revealed. And some selected finances, some selected intelligence, some selected spiritual health, some selected influence, some selected career. And so everybody just selects. And God says, no, I will never be revealed holy like that. The entire tripartite nature of man must participate in revealing all of him. If you're with me, say amen. amen. So the assignment in building you by the Spirit is to make sure that as we continue to press by his grace, no aspect of our life is left barren and unfruitful. Are we together? I have said it again and again that the vision for what we are becoming by the Spirit of God through these teachings is very clear. There is a picture already. We are not guessing what we will be like. Are we together? The Bible says it doth not yet appear what we shall be like. But then Christ has already exemplified all that we should become. So we continue as we behold him as in a mirror. The Bible says there is a change, a metamorphosis, like an insect transits from egg, lava, pupa to the adult. That's what is happening to us. So never mind the fact that certain aspects of your life have not yet conformed. Don't worry. Your job is to be consistent and watch the wonder-working power of the Spirit. A woman's assignment is to be pregnant. The dynamics of the growth of the child, leave it to God. Every day she just knows that there's something in my stomach, whether she can feel it or not. And then at a point, she starts sensing that, look, this child is becoming real. And then nine months later, she gives birth to a healthy baby. Imagine that the woman gets worried and is wondering, what part of him is growing now? Is it the leg or the head? You are going to stress yourself. A system has already been designed in you. When your part is played, God's part kicks in immediately. So it's not everything that you need to know. There are things that you need to know. You don't need to know everything. But the part you should know, if you don't know it, it will make God look unfruitful in your life. Hallelujah. As we prepare for our retreat, I'm very excited about the weekend because for, for us, it's a, time, it's a time when our lives will never, never be the same. I really believe it's the first time we're having two-day stretch retreat. Usually, one day will be for the leaders and then everybody. But the kind of information you're about to receive cannot be passed in one day. You need to sit down and get this thing. I prayed to God and I prayed for you. I said, Lord, they must get it. They must get it. When you get it, it shows. You said that which we have seen, that which we have heard, that which our hands have handled. You can doubt what you hear. Sometimes you can even doubt what you see, but what your hands have handled. Now, it's too real to doubt it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight's teaching is a response. Um, many times I'm led by the Spirit to just bring teachings that attempt to respond to the issues around the lives of people as revealed to me by the Spirit. Or sometimes it may not directly be a revelation. It may just be that when I, I examine the kinds of questions and the communication of the frustration of people as they send text messages. And once I find out that a people continually need clarity over certain aspects, then I know that it's a sign that I should commit myself in bringing them enlightenment. And I think that recently one of the areas that I would say a lot of people have had 
it's, it's a growing frustration is why the victory in Christ the success that the Bible says should follow a believer on account of knowledge partnership with the Holy Spirit and obedience what is really hindering the manifestation listen tonight's teaching is very powerful very very powerful because we know that for as long as realities are locked up in the spirit Ephesians chapter 1 the Bible says blessed be the God of our father you know uh, our Lord and Father Jesus Christ who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ so we are not in doubt over the fact that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ so we are blessed everybody say I am blessed, I am blessed. that is a fact the Bible declares it number two the Bible tells us that we are blessed with blessings are we together now and the bible tells us that those blessings are spiritual in context when the bible tells you a thing is spiritual that means that you may not be able to use your sensory perceptions to confirm its presence it is locked up in a dimension that is higher than the three-dimensional realm listen very carefully and then number three the bible says it is in heavenly places that is where these realities are domiciled now follow me very carefully so we are blessed with all blessings how many all blessings all blessings this is the revelation of what grace is grace is any and everything only God can produce it's not just unmerited access any spiritual reality at all that can only be birthed and communicated by the Christ and in the Christ is called grace anointing is grace the wisdom of God is grace the peace that surpasses all understanding is grace are we together righteousness is grace mercy is grace every constituent that only the christ can produce is called grace please listen you have to understand this i define grace as every good and perfect gift that comes from above so spiritual blessings from above heavenly places but routed only in christ now the difference between grace and every other thing is that grace can only be obtained in christ an angel cannot be the basis for grace are we together now yes christ is the epicenter listen carefully now grace is very powerful when it is taught correctly that means if grace cannot if that reality is not captured in the christ you don't there's no point seeking it is not available so before you ever begin to think of the possibility of receiving and working in any reality your first assignment is to find out whether the grace of God has made that reality available and the way you know is to find out whether the Christ his person Jesus the door does he lead you to that possibility Jesus said I am the way I am the truth I am life he said many things about himself he also said I am the door not just the good shepherd not just the bread are we together now so the grace of God is the basis for availability of anything the grace of God has in it the possibility for a man to be anointed that is why we can press for the anointing the grace of God makes his prosperity available. The grace of God makes his righteousness available. Listen, the grace of God makes access into the mind of God, access into the gifts of the spirit available. This is the correct and balanced communication of grace. So you approach the grace of God as a summation, the holistic picture of every spiritual privilege that only the office of the Christ can provide 
you cannot route the grace of God through any other formula. That does not mean you cannot receive through any other formula. You can. But if it must be by grace, it has to be in Christ. <laughs> he had blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So we are no longer in confusion as to the fact that we are blessed. Listen, we just finished a series on spiritual stability. And the goal was to help our convictions to be unbending. Meaning if anyone gets up now, no matter how well-meaning, and indoctrinates you and makes you feel like there is nothing in store for you in Christ, you will respectfully know that as powerful as this is, is an error because the bible declare that he had blessed us with all spiritual blessings now the next question becomes why then because you see listen i hope you know that you are intrinsically a spirit this is very basic tonight but don't trivialize it at all say i am a spirit not i have a spirit if you say you have a spirit you are wrong you are a spirit are we together now yes that spirit is domiciled in a body according to the law of territory if you are in the realm of the spirit you don't need a physical body are we together your spirit body is sufficient for the spiritual climate but if you are in this physical realm it was so designed that you must have a material body not necessarily a mortal body but a material body a body that is made out of the material of the earth so that you can be compatible with the environment that's why god made man from the elements of the earth when bible says god made man from the dust it's a generic statement it doesn't mean god used mud it means he sourced the instrument of our physical configuration from the same elements so you can look at man and see similitudes of the things in man in creation for instance, the bones of man are in the similitude of rocks. That's why they don't decay. A man can die and his bones can be there for a thousand years, just like a rock can remain. You see, the hair of man, you see it in the similitude of grass. You can cut grass, it can grow back your hair. So it means God made man. He sourced the material for your physical frame from the environment. That's why the environment should not hurt you because you are compatible if your environment hurts you then it means something else is playing out are you getting what i'm saying now it's called the law of territory so when the word wanted to become flesh he needed to come in the similitude of a material body that was compatible to the territory where he was going to come and die if jesus was going to die in venus the planet venus he would find out thank god he's the wisdom of god he would have to reconfigure himself in the similitude of that that's the reason why when angels every time angels were to come to the earth they would either remain in the realm of the spirit and by the supply of the spirit they cause the eye of an individual on earth who is also a spirit to see beyond the three-dimensional realm then the angel can now communicate to you are we together now or the angel assumes a material body is a privilege that the angels have they can translate themselves and assume bodies and then come into your realm and at that point you will not need to see a vision again they can walk like you you can now use your natural eyes you can never see spiritual things with your natural eyes now if you think you saw it with your natural eyes it's just the interpretation of your mind i hope you know that you you don't see with your eyes <laughs> look at this shut down a man's brain keep his eyes open will it be seen you see through your eyes you see your eyes is the window that your spirit looks through but what processes that image is not this that's why if you read in the book of acts paul was blind yet he was still seeing visions that's why blind people can still be productive 
because what is responsible for imagery is not the eyes is the mind are we together now so the bible tells us that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places but the challenge now is that as you've always heard me say it here whilst it is true that we do not seek god because of tea and bread and money and fame and prestige all of these things are not and never will be the basis of loving and seeking god but god so designed this kingdom such that as you genuinely seek him listen very carefully all of these privileges and these blessings because remember he designed them and he designed them to be the support system for your serving him is that true that means that i will serve god effectively if i say i designed something to support you it means that you may you may not necessarily die without it but you will not be effective without it are we together now many believers are getting frustrated and this is the reason my message starts now they are aware because this is the word of god that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places but the frustration is beginning to grow how long do i have to wait how do i know whether something is faith or demonic or that i'm not obeying something because it looks like the time that we are waiting for that which has been resident in heavenly places to find expression when a woman gets pregnant she doesn't expect to give birth in two weeks but she also doesn't expect to be pregnant forever is that true she knows that there is a period of conception and she gladly she may not know the particular day the doctors can approximate intelligently but she knows it is around a season that my edd is on the 14th of september plus or minus the doctors will give 14th of september cannot be 6th of march that is demonic are we together that's too far so there is a time period there is an approximation that is the same way with a believer meaning when you start your journey this is you now you are starting your journey you should be able complete you should be able to know that okay by the time i get here what should have been possible in my life everything may not yet experientially be manifest but there should be what i call a token a consolation something that motivates you that i got it right okay i started five years ago praying in tongues one hour every day reading my bible five chapters every day reading my moonrose book after five years i should be able to look back and there has to be an evidence in my life it encourages me to know that the ones that have not manifest i'm getting there but when your life becomes ichabod that everything at all spiritually even if there's nothing materially let there be spiritual intelligence let there be the anointing praying one hour every day for five years to the same god of heaven and not one sick person has been healed through your hands and not i mean you have not seen any clear dream that came to pass at that point you know that something is wrong are we together many believers are now wondering then your spirit man receives that thing you are doing well spiritually everybody who looks at you knows that you are on fire but then relative to what god has shown you you find out that it looks like certain things are not happening then you are taught that you need your mind to catch up now and get involved in the process are we together when you start working with god your mind doesn't necessarily need to actively follow are we together now you you can't get someone born again and you are teaching him principles of excellence and this and that that's that's too that's too unneeded for that level 
when people get born again they are exposed to fire principles of prayer how to study the word understanding the foundations of righteousness are we together repentance from dead works they need to understand the redemptive work of christ they need to be introduced to the person of the holy spirit the value of corporate gathering are we together all of these foundational things they have to be involved but then eventually now you are in need your child is in need and now your mind comes in so you start renewing your mind by the strategic communication of god's word but then you get to a point where your physical environment is desperately in need of the manifestation of those spiritual blessings this is where my teaching is now the barrenness of god being represented in your physical life you may laugh because of the consolation you are receiving from your spirit man and the fact that your mind is now catching up but sooner or later the reality of time will start demanding god to be manifest in your physical life not just your spirit alone the vicissitudes of life will now begin to compel you to need to translate those spiritual realities into a context that is applicable to your physical life otherwise you will be surprised to find out that a boomerang begins to happen that the challenge that now obstructs your spirit life will start from the natural realm physically are we together yes so this gentleman has not eaten and he's surprised that he can't pray the realm of the spirit is affected by something that is happening here he's standing and he's watching two of his kids they are driving them from school and he cannot pay and when he started with god the issue of finances was not an issue but at this point as a father of two you can't ignore it are we together and he's getting frustrated when he started ministry everybody used to meet under a tree so there was no need for bench and mat if you fell down you fell on the grass but he took it a step further and he opened a church are we together and now you don't sit on the floor in a church and he just realized that they need to buy chairs and he just realized that in that church people will get married one day and that means the reality of family life their well-being that if the families are not doing well no matter how anointed he is very soon there will be empty pews now this guy is is there is a need for the revelation of christ to find expression not just in the spirit realm not just in the realm of the mind but also in the physical this is where many of us are now apostle the bible says great is the mystery of godliness that christ was manifest in the flesh listen he appeared to men he appeared to angels the word became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory you only behold that glory when it dwells among you are we together even the glory of the father and the bible says he's full of grace and truth so i want to help us tonight to show us because let me tell you let me give you a very kind advice never allow your personal frustration make you doubt the validity of kingdom laws never allow your personal frustration i know this is very painful you are you are far from receiving the help of god when you take your personal frustration and create a vendetta between you and god from it and say lord as far as i'm concerned i'm doing what should be done why are things not working no many times the mistake is never from god a gentleman sent me a text today probably he's following and he was going to commit suicide by this night i don't mean this play play i'll kill myself he really was going to do it there's how you know that somebody means business with suicide the kind of dreams he's having the, somebody cannot just wake up and say i want to kill myself he's just looking for help but there, there are things that can lead to you know that this person will actually kill himself and i was telling him i said no no you don't have to kill yourself and the person says usually this is it 
I have done everything I know to do or I have done everything koinonia teaching says to do or I have done everything my pastor or the word of God says to do I'm going to make some very audacious statements tonight and I hope it doesn't offend you if it does not work you are missing something the systems of the kingdom are so flawless if you really get it your life will wonder and marvel at the results that will come now this is an, an uncomfortable truth but i want us to please for god's sake humble ourselves tonight and just lend me your attention that if something is not working in my life and your life there is something you know have you seen a learner learning how to drive and then the learner is surprised why is this car moving that way i thought you said i should talk i'm doing my best he thinks based on his mind that he's doing his best but the professional knows what is wrong and the learner will argue and say this and that and that no i don't i don't believe it i don't do this and that and that when i started marking student script a school of ministry students that's when i knew that many students that say they gave me are talking nonsense <laughs> they gave me five they gave me ten as that's for for in for many of it is is complete nonsense at least i'm honest i'm born again and godly and i'm the one that is doing the marking from a very unbiased perspective and i'm surprised Ah, if you wrote this you should be joking to expect to pass <laughs> now but you ask the person who wrote it i'm just using that as an example you ask the pe just because he read and just because he wrote you can do a mathematical calculation and be wrong but just because your wrong answer is part of the answers and you got it doesn't mean you passed <laughs> the answer to the question may be five but your wrong calculation gave you two and option a is two and you say i got it no you didn't get it you just found your error as part of the options are we following i don't want to live my life doubting the things i believe I don't want to get to a point in my life where it becomes too late to be accurate so I want to walk with you in a few minutes and I want by the grace of God I think for many of us I know what is wrong and I want to show you this night and I want you to listen because I'm speaking to people who are largely spiritually enlightened so what is wrong you will be surprised to know that the same frustration many of you are having, I had it too. Because I believe with all my heart that I was getting everything right. But looking from today's standpoint, <laughs> it was a joke. I even wonder how I can see the gaps that the mercy of God covered. Outstanding success has a huge price write it down for someone this is already a deliverance because you believe that success just because the bible says he has given us all things just because the bible says the primary reason why many believers never succeed whether in ministry or in whatever area of life among other things is they misunderstand how spiritual things are both communicated and translated the idea of spiritual things being an inheritance in christ that word if not well explained can mislead you and make you fail now the bible is saying i have been given all things if i have been given it means my next and only assignment based on this is to receive and you are not wrong but the system of reception is every other thing i'll be saying for many people we think to receive just means to verbalize by faith 
I receive. You see it now? But that's incomplete. The same way the system of God giving you this. You, you see, the Bible speaks from different angles and different dimensions. And so when you are interpreting scripture, you have to first understand the context. What was the subject matter that was being addressed? Because it will help you know why certain expressions were used. When Paul in his Pauline epistle is teaching them on revelations of redemption, you notice that his communications was, uh, they were always from a standpoint of the finished work of Christ. You will never see in Paul's context his exegesis on redemption. He does not ever give you any idea that there's anything to be done. So he lets you know that you are starting from a position of victory and that is correct with respect to your understanding of redemptive realities but now you switch to the other dimension which is coming into the experience of the kingdom and paul begins to change his communication it is not a he's not counteracting himself he is now showing you why should i want to press to enter something that is an inheritance so paul gets to the book of hebrews and Paul now surprises us and even confuses many that in spite of the fact that you have been given this, he said there remained a rest for the people of God. Are we together now? He now begins to talk of the Sabbath of the church and the Sabbath of a man's destiny that until now there is still a rest. That means until today, men have not entered into the experience of this. And he says, today, if you hear his voice, he says, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Is that true? And then the Bible now begins to tell us that he heard the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them. And he now introduces something strange. He said, not mixed. A Jimmy's wife is a professional baker. The word mixed doesn't mean to talk. It means it involves action. It involves process. When you mix something, you combine factors together. And the Bible said, not mix with faith. Faith is part of the many things that should be mixed. Not mix with faith. Like you say, you didn't add salt to the food. The food is not salt. There were many other things before salt arrived. But for the taste you are looking for, salt is the ingredient that must be added. Not mixed with faith in them that heard it. And so many people are unable to translate these realities into their lives. Success has a huge price. It truly is very costly. The earlier you got this, the better for you. Settle it once and for all that the birth of anything valuable is painful. Number two. Like I will always say, failure too has a huge price tag. Many people don't know that it's not easy to fail. They think it's very easy to fail. If there is a price to produce the results that we need, what is that price? I'm not going to be talking of many of them. I'm just going to mention one that I believe with all my heart that many people are not doing is the price of diligence write it down and listen very carefully please don't assume you understand what i'm saying the price of diligence proverbs 14 verse 23 read it for me if you are a serious Christian, one, two, read, please. But the talk of the lips only does what? In all labor, there is profit. But the talk of the lips only will tend a man to penury. There is a dimension of entering into your rest that requires labor requires diligence 
diligence is a trait that all successful people whether in ministry in business have many believers are busy many believers are taking action but they are not diligent Write this down. Diligence is the quality of being productive. Write it down. Diligence is the quality of being strategic. Diligence is the quality of being resilient unbending the refusal to bow out diligence is the quality of endurance please listen to me in africa i don't know if it's a social cultural context but we have a very funny understanding about success we have all kinds of mentalities about success that are wrong in themselves. But I think probably the worst of them all is how much we trivialize success to believe that God or government or parents or mother nature owes us are being successful. Or we just feel I may just put my hands here and there and then with just a prophetic word or just a blessing or just a, a, a little oil on it, everything just works. Diligence is not just hard work. Notice my choice of words. You must be strategic. You must be productive. Listen, diligence involves the sacrifice of your time. Diligence involves the sacrifice of your energy. Diligence involves the sacrifice of your resources. The sacrifice of your time, write it down. <laughs> ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. May God open our eyes tonight. Look at me. Let me teach you something. Everybody say time is money. Say it again. You've heard it every time, but what does it mean? What does it mean by time is money? That means that you are only rewarded when you create an event that makes men to have time for it. Listen. Come, Pastor Lawrence, and your lovely wife. I was happy to see you people. Just celebrate them. Come, come quickly. Come stand here. Don't be embarrassed. Thank God you're a pastor. Look at this. How many of you know that last year we didn't have time for their wedding? Because the event was not yet created. Any time an event has not been created in the earth realm, there is no time for it. That means you cannot commit any resources towards it because there is no time for it. Both of them decided, when did you marry? What's the date? 15th? Now, they, they decided to bring time and attach an event to 15th September. The moment they took the risk to create an event people started having time for them and resources started coming to them now that the event has been achieved nobody will give you money for marriage again because there is no longer time for it listen listen by 1990 there was no time for zuckerberg there was no time for facebook because that product was not created there was no event that will make you have time for facebook so a gentleman said let me make men have time and with that time will come resources and he made available an event and now we have time for facebook there was no time for koinonia 
before koinonia started your friday night were for something else the moment there was a vision that vision brought time to it and with that time every resource came is that true so when you say time is money time is not necessarily directly money time is only money when an event a creativity was added and attached to that time it will now make men to have time for you and with that time it will make them to have their resources so when you pay zuckerberg you are not paying him for the product necessarily you are really paying for the price he has paid to make you have time for that thing are we together now now you all have time for browsing once upon a time you could not do that on your phone somebody made that possibility with that time now goes your data your data will finish and you want to invest in when you pay data what are you really paying think well what are you paying time when you pay for a venue and they say from 12 o'clock to 6 is 60,000 what did you pay for if they give you a job and they say from 8 to 6 you are working what are you really paying for if you take away time on earth nobody will pay anybody for anything again are you getting what i'm saying now so there is an event and then men begin to invest in this and now they are married god bless you thank you ask him what it took to create that time <laughs> he summarized it in one sentence it is not i said that's my message <laughs> now but is he married or not please talk you are laughing but i hope you understand what i'm saying is he married or not did the devil stop it but it is not 24 hours to your wedding there's no reception oh god take my shame that's 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 labor there it's labor in prayer and faith it's not just an activity in all labor there is profit <laughs> goodness it takes diligence please sit down sit down pastor if you are not diligent listen very carefully my brothers and my sisters there is nothing you will ever do and achieve in life if you neglect diligence there are many many men of god for instance i was listening to bishop oedeko's um, lecture at at benson idahosa the university there commemorating um, mama idahosa's birthday and i mean that that great man of god at that age was just crying out his life many people believe life is so cheap they just think just because there is the anointing that can accelerate a factor they believe that the anointing is a basis for laziness and lack of diligence many of us here the missing ingredient is that we are not diligent diligence does not mean you are not moving you are not moving strategically you are just busy around trying to hustle what business are you doing oh yeah let me join now what are you doing let me just apply i will apply everywhere by faith you believe that what you are doing uh -uh. let me show you something luke chapter 14 please let's read two verses 28 and 29 i hope god is talking to someone luke chapter 14 28 please luke chapter 14 28 read with me koinonia one to read for which of you intending to build a tower hold on so you, you have an intention you have a vision you have a goal but the bible says the first thing you do is not to go and buy cement the first thing you do is to do what sit down and then count the cost 
whether you have sufficient to not start it finish it you can know you have what it takes to finish it before you start otherwise the bible will not talk about it here you can know that i have capacity to finish this vision next verse less happily after he had laid the foundation and is not able to finish it all that behold it begin to mock him in fact let's let's read the next verse saying this man began to build continue till i ask you to stop and was not able to finish remember we're talking of completion here finishing next verse or what king going to make war against another king seated not down first and consulted whether he be able with 10,000 to meet him that cometh against him with 20,000 are we together that you become strategic about your life not just to take action many young people pray in tongues they fast dry as soon as they are done they just get up just because the holy spirit told them do a and b they just get up foolishly they, there is no they, they don't have that strategic approach to life a man comes with his wife look at this you are married to your wife and you are acting as if how will the finances be run the spirit god is faithful is it not in this life you are not diligent let's pray wonderful but you are not diligent there is no planning there is no strategic approach are we together you have real issues that need to be dealt with but you just find a way of spiritualizing it and throw everything faith is not foolishness you are sitting down let me show you diligence how much do we have now 20,000 per month. How much do you need? 200,000 per month. We are, we are far from the goal, but at least we are aware of what we have. The miracle comes when you know what you have first. Remember, what you have in your house is already a sign that you are about to receive a miracle. Are we together? Yes. If you have 20,000 naira in your house and you are a pastor, that means there's no organizing conference. <laughs> There's no organizing any breakthrough service in the name of any hilarious vision. We are not diligent and we are not strategic. How many pastors are consistently in debt because they continue to organize conferences borrowing money and they tell you it's God that did it and they wept themselves in a lot of shame and reproach. You borrow one million, invite five men of God who come for four, now you think that just because it is spiritual you are not strategic about your life you will never prosper and you will not do well that way are we together a man is starting a ministry and all no members there's no track record of loyalty and you go and rent a venue where you are paying hundred thousand per month or per week believers if you don't listen to what i'm telling you you will be surprised that your life is not making progress a tongue-talking born-again believer is receiving salary of fifty thousand. you will find him in zaria suya spot he will buy five chicken one for apostle what you think just because you are buying for apostle means you are you are not diligent if one chicken is say three thousand and you buy five fifteen thousand what percentage of your salary is that all of a sudden you will find out two months later on that you forgot that your child's school fees is coming is it not funny how people forget they have children and then two weeks to resumption or three days they'll say ah sorry you I didn't, where is the pta letter you are not diligent it's not about having money or not having money the same way people come to church when they now say time for offering they are surprised you are not diligent you are not strategic about your life you just stand and guess while the offering is coming quickly you just touch your pocket bring out everything and drop it you are not intentional about life i tell you why many things are not working for us we are praying we are happy but we are not getting the level and the kind of productivity that should be gone. I have prayed, I have fasted, 
but I took out time, the entire retreat. I'm not just going as the spirit leads. There is something intentional to be inculcated in the people. And because of that, it demanded two days. It's not God that told me two days. The wisdom of the world and the level of investment I seek to produce in your life in these two days necessitate two days of training. The first dimension of being diligent is not hard work. It's being strategic. Being strategic helps your energy to be worth it. Many of us are dissipating energy, but we are shadow boxing. Apostle, it's not like I'm sitting down. I'm moving. I'm doing something. What are you doing? Have you thought about what you are doing? There are people who can start 10 businesses in one month. It's a sign that they are not diligent. They were not strategic over what they are doing. I just want to do something. I want to get my hand doing something. You are just hard working. You are not diligent. A diligent person will sit down. You will look at your lifestyle. You will look at your goals and your vision. You will look at what capital you have. The knowledge, the level of knowledge you have. You look at that business relative to your service. Relative to your life as a workforce person. You look at every other factor. How long do I want to do this business? Is it just to help me get capital for something bigger? Or this is a line of interest I seek to pursue? There's no diligence. That's why there is no sustainability in the things we do. We just jump at whatever we hear is happening. And do you know, let me tell you this. When you, when you continue failing for a long time, you will stop believing yourself. I've seen a lot of pastors, men and women of God, very anointed people, but they come to me and say, Apostle, why, why, why is my life like this? And I look at them, I say, do you know, sometimes they can even tell me, as I'm talking to you now, I'm on a dry fast, three days. You know, three days dry fast is not easy. Try it. Three days fasting itself is, is but dry. When dry means no water, no nothing. And the person is, you are seeing the spiritual sacrifice. And the person is saying, I thought this thing comes by it. And you are saying, no. Let me tell you what you are doing wrong. I will not become your member. There are many things you don't know. You are not diligent. The man who tells you he wants members has not sat down to really think of what it means to be a pastor over members. He's not planned it ask him have you done your homework to one those members he says i can preach by the grace of god i'm anointed i'm a mighty prophet i'm an apostle of god is that all it takes to run a church are you seeing that now a lot has not happened we ignore all of these things and then he sees and says oh one day we will take the nations in the name of jesus according to my vision i saw doors opening uh-huh what do you think will happen so we just sit down and feel like, uh, let's do a conference. Light and glory, prophetic encounter, season one. You start. Now, I'm not being sarcastic. You just sat down and thought, okay, what is this conference supposed to do to my members? What is it supposed to do relative to their spiritual level? Relative to the level of ministry? Relative to our finances? I'm bringing one guest minister from Ghana. I'm bringing one guest minister from London. I'm adding Apostle Joshua Selman from it. What is your budget for the conference? Two million. What is your entire church offering for a year? 500,000. God is faithful. You see that? That is already a recipe for a struggling pastor forever. I don't care what kind of tongues he prays. There are many believers that don't have plan to one day have their own house. You see it in their life. Show me your notebook under God that I know that I'm in one small room, but I'm already planning. And these are the steps. I am being strategic. Let me tell you this. I stand before the God of heaven. Come, Ejimi. Be my witness. There is nothing you see being done in Koinonia today that I did not say will happen. He will tell you. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I can bring notebooks for you and show you where I wrote these things 
and I wrote everything that will be done. When Koinonia was going to start, I told you that I saw CGC bigger than this. It was small, but I saw it expand. It's not just vision. So we began to prepare. When the Lord showed me that nations were going to come and all of these things, I sat down. I said, it takes a lot. I studied the seven largest churches in every continent of the world. It's not just prayer and fasting alone. You have to be strategic. At a particular level of ministry that I get to, I may not be outside on a bike again. Somebody will embarrass me. Will I have the financial level at that time to at least have a car? What if Koinonia needs to run Gen 24 hours? These are things, thank you sir, thank you so much. These are things that many people never plan for. You just sit down and say, let's have another baby. And God is watching you. Say, you, you, I, did you hear yourself? Let's have another baby. You see, Nigerians and Africa, we continue to punish ourselves and we continue to make a fool of God because we are not strategic. The baby comes and the man does not know what to do. They are confused and he's angry. You are the stupid woman. Why didn't you advise me when I said, let's have a baby? Say, is it my fault? And, and, all of, and the baby who is innocent there is watching. I said, well, so what is, what is going on now? What are you going to do with me? If I ask many of you here, my dear brothers and sisters, don't stand up. But if I say how many of you are in ministry, not will be in ministry, are in some kind of ministry, many people will stand up. And I look at you, if I say after 10 years, many people will be struggling, they will get angry. They'll say apostle is proud, he's talking nonsense, he's being stupid. But I said this thing years ago, that many ministries will struggle in the future. Because I saw by the spirit that there were certain demands that 21st century ministry will require. And I said, Lord, I don't want to be stupid. I want you to show me what are the systems that will take to excel. And God said, if you can sit down and you are willing to pay the price, I will show you. When I was saying some of these things, people laughed at me, others insulted me, others said a lot of things. It's amazing how I look at people today and I look at the way they are languishing in the squallow of ignorance. God is the builder of all, but let me tell you, every house is built by someone. Yes. Diligence involves being strategic. You have to sit down and plan. In the name of Jesus, God is faithful, but I have to plan. What is the system for making sure everyone gets filled with the Holy Ghost in Koinonia? It's not enough to be anointed. Imagine that you did not put that system in place. A time will come, half of your members are not filled with the Holy Ghost. My God, that is some, that is some, some Babylon in your church. When half of the members are not filled with the Holy Ghost, you are in trouble already. What is the system in place for all of this? It's part of being diligent. Number two, diligence involves sacrifice. Mm. Many of us miss it in this area. Sacrifice is a non-negotiable price. If you want to ever be great. The sacrifice of prayer. The sacrifice of prayer. You see, the sacrifice of fasting, the sacrifice of staying till you understand the word of God. God is my witness whom I serve. I don't know how many hours I've slept from yesterday till today. And it's going to be a marathon into the week, just going. Don't get me wrong, I rest. But every man knows uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. You see that? While you are sleeping and praying, Oh God, bless these people in this retreat. Open their eyes. Let Koinonia service today be powerful. Bring the people. Let there be miracles. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. My brothers and my sisters, no matter what God has given you, the sacrifice dimension of success is something you must come to terms with.
it will cost you we are a generation that likes comfort too much we are a generation that likes pleasure too much we are a generation that is so averse to sacrifice the moment you have to constrain yourself a little we complain and shout and ramble yet if you see the kind of results we want it takes it takes a lot of sacrifice take sacrifice someone sent me a text and said apostle why are you not responding to me I've been calling you and you are not responding what is this and I just look I said this this man does not know the hundreds of text messages that I get every day and the things that I have to do I was counseling people yesterday counseling people in Lagos I already knew I was going to miss my flight I told this my people I said you guys should just go to the airport I'll find my way just go I knew I was going to miss my flight but the people that I was is it was a strategic counseling and I said no 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 let me miss the flight you just go and they went as soon as we're done i went to the airport got the next flight that could come to abuja instead of just flying down to kaduna and coming to rest i had because of sacrifice i routed down to abuja and then from there now from the airport back i arrived in the night as soon as i arrived i just went refresh myself and went to work immediately apostle joshua selman someone sent me a text and said apostle we are proud of you we saw that in lagos they gave you an award i said don't look at the award look at the hands that collected that award the sacrifice we like pleasure we like clapping but the inner price the price apostle what do you do that people are just blessed like this what do you do that the anointing you are just talking and people are jumping up and down my brother and my sister is not a charm it's a price even a charm has a price my police will not just give you a charm because you want to be diabolic do you know how much you are going to pay it's a price i can't remember the last time in my life i watched a movie I have television but it's off i can't remember the last time the tv in my room was on honestly sincerely why did you buy it then i must enjoy you it's my money then you will never become anything in life there is a huge price please young people listen being young does not mean to be indisciplined and careless you must be ready to be serious and pay the price it takes nobody just follows a leader just because of anointing it's a combination of many factors including a track record of consistency every member wants to know that the leader they follow is visionary enough there must be predictability to your destiny and your vision your life and whatever your mission is must be well articulated for anyone to follow you otherwise they'll come and receive miracles and just go away human beings are not stupid they are first human beings before members of any church sacrifice say i receive grace to be sacrificial mm. sacrifice when you carry the money you should buy a book with and read and you buy shoe because you saw somebody buy a shoe of hundred thousand you allow a luciferian spirit to deceive you to go and buy a shoe of hundred thousand to prove a point you are not ready for the sacrifice dimension of greatness let me tell you it's not just when you have you spend there are times that a door can be open but you close it yourself because you know the time has not come it's not every open door that means god has licensed you to pass the door does not have to be closed to know it's not time it can be open but you limit it by yourself and close it because there is a season of appearing is god speaking to us sacrifice many of us are comfortable with little results that's why you find out that my many brothers and sisters men of god around this nation and the world they never go far they start small small signs and wonders small membership small miracles small testimony and you know that arrival mentality i look at myself and say apostle you've not started though you've not started at all 
you never come to my house i have received so many awards you never come to my house and see one picture that i snap with a governor or a politician or somebody from the presidency you will not find one i don't trust them they are deceptive you won't find any award on my table this he received award from this one this one he met with this governor this one he met with this you it's not joshua selman those things are deceptive i push them what you find is my future on my table not my past fill me up till i overflow i want to run over i want to run over fill me up till i overflow i want to run I get hundreds of text messages every day apostle you are a sign and wonder the apostle of our time great man there is a testimony apostle we've been trusting God for a child for eight years remember you spoke to us now the child has come apostle let me have your account number we want to be sending this and that and sometimes I put my phone in front of me like this and I look at it I said Lord deliver me from deception and complacency deliver me compared to where we are going this is only a step out of the cave there are still lands to conquer there are still territories what have we seen that we brag about there are deep things in the spirit when you have an arrival mentality you will never see the need to sacrifice to sacrifice in this kingdom you don't arrive home. you don't arrive all those who arrive are the ones who are no longer relevant when God is moving. Is God speaking to us? Many of us here are not willing to sacrifice. Show me what you are willing to sacrifice to be prosperous. Show me what you are willing to sacrifice to be truly anointed. Show me what you are willing to sacrifice. Apostle, I like movie. I'm like that. We are all we are in our family. It's a gift. It's not a gift. It's an appetite you have refused to curb. It can be a gift, even if you are called into the movie industry. It takes diligence to sit down and plan. Can be a gift. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, some of us need to trust God for grace to off that laptop, off that phone, off that television. And say television i'm tired of watching other people fulfill the assignment i'm ready to sit down lord you are calling me into a strong apostolic ministry i open my bible not tv there is a time to watch tv but in the name of jesus i sit down when others are sleeping you wake up your eye wants to close they don't try it don't try it i'm going far lord open my eyes and you are hearing one message you are about to rest more there's another worship backing you up then there is another prayer confession as you are stretching fire on your spirit because you are preparing for an extraordinary life men of god there is no shortcut to this thing let's not mock god there is no shortcut that blood must really flow the way to the throne is the cross there is no other way hallelujah and you sit down the the the, the sacrificial dimension of diligence there are times that god will demand from you i have ten thousand that's all i have and god says carry it and give me and you sit down and say god no you are uh, if you are really god your mercies endure you are new every morning all those statements of unbelief you carry that thing by faith and say lord i'm i'm let me be stupid for you let me tell you this show me a man who is no longer afraid of pain i show you a man that satan cannot do anything about when you when you master pain and it no longer touches you the devil will put his hand on his head and say what do i do with this person because pain is his edge in your life the moment you are uncomfortable you run away from that thing the cave you fear holds the miracle you look for that cave 
the cave that you are afraid of is because the treasure you seek is there you must trust god for grace and roll that stone and enter into that graveyard eyes closed and say lord if i perish i perish is god speaking to us yes say sacrifice say it shout sacrifice the sacrifice of your time the sacrifice of your energy many of you see what god is doing through this ministry did you know that sometimes as early as six or seven in the morning the workers are already at work you see this guy standing the worship team is behind me male and female no difference when you are in the worship team they are standing there so when you hear me raise a song and they are singing it's not robots human beings behind everything that works is a man making it work behind everything that works if you eat a delicious meal someone stood in the midst of the smoke to cook it if your clothes is nice someone paid the price to iron it please let us settle it once and for all nothing just happens if you are fed spiritually at the back of that revelation is someone's sacrifice we devalue the sacrifices of men in nigeria you look at young people talking about men of god and they have zero revelation zero result zero discipline zero vision yet they sit down tear men of god they talk about men of god this guy is more anointed than this this one is more sound ah that other guy in uh, in, in ghana oh have you seen the one in this oh and they sit down and analyze any day you see sacrifice don't pretend you didn't see it stop by and salute it even if you are in a hurry the moment you see a man with blood and the scars of sacrifice please don't pass and ignore it stop and say i salute the investment of god upon your sacrifice it's the reason why when we finish service we allow our elderly ones to sit down it's not just because of favoritism the sacrifice of time the sacrifice of life the precious workers in this ministry some of them have been working since morning some of them will only go back early in the morning and some of them by by early in the morning they are going to start their work sacrifice the koinonia you are getting blessed by many of you when i mention a scripture you see it here at the back of this result is someone who is paying the price to make sure they do it well what do you want in life are you willing to pay the price or are you willing to let the price be paid for you no say i receive grace to be sacrificial one more time say i receive grace show me a man of god that will sacrifice in prayer that will sacrifice in mentorship that will sacrifice in the word whose heart is open to understand the systems of god my brother and my sister i show you a man of god that no devil no power no cause no charm in existence can stop show me a man who is willing to settle down and understand god's financial systems and pay the price I show you a man who will wave poverty forever and wave it goodbye forever show me a man who is ready to pay the price to be diligent enough to be valuable I show you a man who will never beg never beg never beg something happened when we were traveling to Lagos very humorous story let me just say it. I got into the plane and then I saw I saw a couple and their mother they were shouting apostle i said these people have come to embarrass me now and they were happy and then when we got down the mother came and hugged me said she has been listening to my message my son let's snap and we're snapping and the mother just squeezed some money i said mama don't do this i don't know you i'm said, you, um, you must collect you and i said ah this is somebody's salary and somebody is saying you must collect the key is not anointing is value value if you are not valuable no mama will stand behind you a a wise son makes a glad father a foolish son is a reproach to his mother nobody will be proud of you for not doing nothing let me tell you the truth i'm being hard on us i love you our retreat has started workers 
value. Stop packaging, faking, lying. Settle down and say in Jesus' name, I must get this thing. Stop looking for money and trust God to piece together all the spiritual resources to be valuable. They were carrying my luggage and then I sat down somewhere at the airport and the next thing I saw some group of boys. I know how people look at me. I just know that they're about to embarrass me again. They came and said, Apostle, ha, ah, Jesus, this and that and that. I was sad because I missed my flight. I was on my way to pick another flight to come back and then I get into the plane and I see someone looking at me. Apostle, and he shouted, Jesus. I quietly went and I sat down. There was a space between me and the next person. True story, yesterday. The guy got up and left his workmate and came to me that he wants i said no you want to embarrass me here we started creating a scene and you know how people in the plane got ah they were happy the guy said i'm not going he wanted to kneel down there i said what is all this now ah this is a, a flight that is taking us the guy said he must sit down close to me i said okay he sat down close to me when everything was done i didn't know that all through that flight he was busy packaging a lot of money he works in abuja and he just carried that i said no no no, i won't collect i will just bless you and i said once upon a time in my life this is what i needed to eat dinner and jesus was still lord if you are not valuable nobody will reward you my brothers and my sisters success is not a charm if you are not valuable nobody will reward you stop making demand of from life when you are not giving anything back it's a scam to demand from life and not give anything back so after you he said this charge i give unto you my son timothy that you wore a good warfare the warfare is not just fighting demons you are wrestling with prophecy in the name of jesus a word has come that god is my ebenezer to help you means you are doing something lord I'm, I'm i'm going to settle down and take my life seriously why is it that my help has passed me and there is nothing it's like a stench from my life driving them why is nobody coming to sponsor my ministry something is wrong value i don't share these testimonies to brag i told you about my pastor friend who someone called him and said please do you know apostle he said yes he said i'm going to transfer money to you send it to him for me the thing paying the man of god he called me and said apostle what is this somebody doesn't know you and knows me then now sends money to my account and say i should transfer it to you i just cracked a joke and we laughed and laughed he's my very good friend value you can make up your mind and say in the name of jesus i will pay my children's school fees the whole session from the beginning of every year and then when you are prophesied like that you carry your spirit your head your mind into the room where the spirit of god breathes upon people and you say lord there has to be a way there has to be a way i can tell you this my brothers and my sisters when you mean business the gate of destiny must open the reason why many of us have not forced that that gate must be broken he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder the gate of destiny will not open when you stand and just speak english oh gate i'm standing here no stories you are, you are mocking yourself gates you must open you must open you didn't open for my father Look at what he said, him and his wife, that nobody ever married legally. I'm sure he made up his mind. In the name of Jesus, I must marry a wife by paying a dowry and going to church. When he was saying it, the evil force, he said, let's see what will happen. I did it for your father and your mother. Let me tell you something. Sacrifice is a covenant. When you make up your mind to sacrifice, it's like entering a covenant with God. Gather unto me, my saints, 50 verse 5 Psalms. They that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Number three, diligence involves resilience and tenacity. Now, this is where I want to talk a little and then we'll pray for tonight. Please sit down. Everybody say resilience everybody say tenacity come 
hold me try to resist me as i'm moving this is how life is no destiny will not allow you cut walk to the promised land no sir there are not only giants in the gate the giant starts from egypt they will pursue you it's not just the giants on the promised land there are giants where you are going there are forces that will stop you so you are to hold me again you are trying to move forward and these devils that have stopped everybody want to stop you it takes faith you will fail many times and you say satan i will wear you by my consistency whoever told you that just because god spoke to you you will succeed at first there is difference between failure as an event and failure as a person believers this is where we miss it the average christian when he fails once he will bring all kinds of jargons around and excuse and say you see this this and that. and christians we are very good at making people to stop rising the moment you do something you you god told you you are going to take worship to the nations your first album you bought it by yourself say, i won't disgrace myself like this again sorry mr man that means you are not ready to get to the nations life rewards tenacity you put the first album it doesn't work you say i know i didn't get anything right but at least it gave me exposure let's go to write the second song the first one i just composed nonsense the second one i'm not just going to involve the holy spirit alone i will involve a music director so both the holy spirit and a music director is involved to help you balance some of the things that will make people like us not to buy it are we together and now by the time you balance it your second album comes with a greater level of professionalism a day will come you'll be standing on a stage and somebody will be waiting with a check outside to give you what would have been your bill for the first entire production the first time whoever told you champions become champions from day one don't you know that success is overcoming many failures you never qualify to be great if you cannot ignore failure and keep moving god is speaking to someone already man of god just because you started ministry and nobody's patronizing your grace just because you started ministry every sick body you prayed for looked at you and warned you and they told you to never never come for their conference again just because the first sermon you made a mistake you forgot the scripture because of tension anointing will not drive tension like that it takes experience to drive tension you will need to do this thing many times ramble on the stage more than once twice and then eventually one day you will now begin to gain yourself you can articulate do you know what it means to be talking and looking at people and they are looking at you back especially if they are frowning at you you crack a joke nobody laughs you forget the scripture no amount of prayer will take that thing away it's a track record you must create so it's not a spiritual problem he say it's just the 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 challenge you face on your road to greatness you don't go back and say oh god but i fasted now what evil spirit and no evil spirit entered you consistency consistency a day will come you will build confidence you will be able to look at people and preach is god speaking to us say in the name of jesus I will wear failure until I succeed the word wear there doesn't mean to put it on it means to wear it if my expression is not correct find your own the idea is frustrate failure till you succeed look let me tell you failure can be tired I found out by experience that failure is personified like a being that can say I'm tired of this guy go pass and the gate opens and you walk gallantly I can tell you stories of my failures and you will be surprised I remember praying for somebody years ago they took me to pray for someone on wheelchair I think I've shared it in maybe 2012 or 13 I went full of the Holy Ghost those days you fasted and prayed for everything even if they say lead praise and worship I prayed for I, I took out time 
if you see the level of revelation I shared and yet when the time came to pray all in the final analysis I prayed I laid hands and I know the man had faith because faith comes by hearing that guy gave me all his attention I knew his spirit was in what I was saying let me give you a little testimony let me come let's laugh a little you see this guy here I love it Jimmy let me tell you this when I started teaching them how to get people filled with the Holy Ghost and the principles of impartation something happened one day I left a Jimmy and one lady he was to get her filled with the Holy Ghost you see when you see him talk now you are flying from your chair it's a track record I remember Jimmy talking with the lady in you know he's very intelligent he shared every revelation when he finished he now tried the lady was tired she said I'm, I'm tired this thing I mean it's so it pained him and then I, I can't remember the story exactly I think he called on me and I came and I mean in less than one minute that lady was and we were going home and Jimmy was gloomy he just said but ah, that at least if she fell down he knew he would have helped her faith. I remember comforting him and said, don't worry. Do you know why I'm taking out time to act this drama? So that you can be healed from that lie the devil is telling you. Amateurism is allowed in the school of success. Every professional was once a student. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't be ashamed of being a student. Just make sure you continue. So when you go for the meeting and just like Apostle taught you, your blood is hot from SOM graduation. You received fire here and you just organized a meeting. And in the name of Jesus, you waited for word of knowledge. You were surprised. Nothing happened. The crusade, you prayed, said, I sense the anointing here. And the person who fell was there. And you just, everybody is looking at your error. And as soon as they shared the grace, you went back and said, Kai, of course, God will always leave himself with a witness. But you go back feeling, Lord, Abba, if I was wrong, couldn't you have even just done it? And then we can settle it later. God says, no, pass through it. It's a track record. The day you are coming down from your car and a blind eye is opening, that day people look at you and say, how did you start? You say, my brother, I didn't start with a blind eye opening. I started with finishing a service like funeral <laughs> because nothing happened prophesy to someone say pay the price say pay the price honorably <laughs> hallelujah ask every doctor here when they were students the things they laugh about now was once a thorn in the flesh ask every lecturer here when they were teaching him what he's now teaching the students he didn't smile at some of the things i be pastor alpha you can't look at some of them and say this thing is hard yet today you are the one teaching it hallelujah so you stand today and declare in the name of the lord and someone is blessed you are learning the principles of finance and favor you get up with that zeal and go and start a business you start a popcorn machine with the fire from the book you read and you eat your popcorn alone nobody comes you just say it's an evil spirit no sir look let me tell you this if you learn this tonight you will not be ashamed of your pain again the next time things go wrong it's not always demonic sometimes you just say lord i thank you look at the apostles think how many times they were embarrassed do you know what it means to be mentored by apostle jesus this is Jesus we are talking about, the apostle of our faith. Having mentored some guys full of grace and truth. And then they went to pray for an epileptic patient. Mentored directly by Jesus, not John, not Moses. And they laid hands on that guy. In the name of Jesus. And the guy was not healed. The people would have beat them there to kill them if Jesus didn't come on time. But a time came, hallelujah. Peter when Peter is in a room they line sick people not for a crusade Peter is about to pass and his shadow mastery they call it mastery a realm and a dimension had come did you know once upon a time in my life 
I would never speak for someone to fall under the anointing. No, I will lay hands, then you will fall. So if I want five of you to receive any impartation, I will patiently follow. I didn't have the luxury of just making a statement. Where who, who dash monkey banana? But you ask the devil in the pit of hell, ask him, he knows. That you stand and make one pronouncement and open the two lift gates over men's destinies. It's not just an impartation, it's a track record. Are we together now? Listen, tonight, I want you to know that failure is not the end. Is a pathway to success. This is the level where many of you are now. That's why I'm explaining to you. You are there now and you are praying and nothing is happening. Lord, come through for me now and it looks like your heavens are closed and you are already getting angry. You are already getting frustrated. Father, I thought apostle said that if we finish dancing, I've danced and danced and danced. I put my prayer request. I danced through the night. It happened to me too. Don't think it just manifested. Let me tell you something. The future you are trying to enter, a large part of it by God's grace have entered. I can tell you what to expect. It will do you like a dream. The day the day the legal claims of your training is over you will wake up one morning into a realm that you say god tell me it's a joke what is this what is this see a day will come you will look at your life and not find any scar and you are saying where did it go to and god says enjoy the blessings of your endurance when you see someone going to NDA, you see how they treat him when he's going to what they call the first level. Tamawan? Yes. But by the time that gentleman is about to stand and give his last parade, he stands with honor. The fearful, weak guy five years ago is now the warrior of today. They can send him to Maiduguri and he says, where is Boko Haram? I'm ready to face them. Some of what you are going through, God gives you victory many times by bringing your fear and you together. There is a relationship between your fear and you and the spirit of courage. Sometimes running away from your fear will destroy you. So God makes you strong by making you stare at your fear until you become friends. Your fear will no longer run away from you. Is it not the rent? You stand with the landlord. You stand with the policeman. And finally, you will learn that police does not kill. Landlord does not kill. You no longer fear. Then the miracle comes. And God will say, it's not that I could not supply it. I wanted to build your heart so that you are strong. Notice that every time you fail, if you use it well, it can impart faith in your heart. This is something until you are in the school of the spirit, it will never make sense. Hallelujah. You can turn your fears to your miracle. Man of God, the fact that you gave a word of knowledge. Oh, I'm seeing Pastor James on you. He said, no, my name is Pastor Alpha. Uh, your, your wife, you married Judith. Say, no, sir. If you, are not, if you are not serious, we will drive you here. My wife is called Annie. You, do you, you have five sons? No, sir. We have two. Two. I'm seeing a girl. No, sir. I have a boy. And you turn back and say, God, if you didn't send me, why embarrass me? I can go back to, I can use my accounting. Can, what is it a bank? I can't go and walk in a bank. And God says, you are a prophet to the nations. Let me tell you, do you know while you are, help him. Oh my God. You see that? Do you know that while you are complaining, God never talks to you about that issue. He gives you another assignment. He now says, all right, that lady, go and meet her stand before her before i'll tell you what to say say mm -mm. god what is her name first say no so go and stand and you now say young lady no i'm not this kind of guys if you think i say no 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 i know you are somebody's wife god just sent me so you yeah, talk fast already the, your your hearing is hazy by her shout listen he's training you so that the day you stand over a nation and say the lord said i should speak over this nation no matter who writes an article writing nonsense you have been immune there is a vaccination you have received all these people that cry over little persecution you were not trained well in the school of the spirit is god speaking to us 
Oh, God is calling me to be a kingdom millionaire. And God says, so you're 50,000. And he said, Lord, please, I, I, is he you? Confirm it in a dream and you have five dreams in the night to show you it is him. You even see yourself giving it. You ask God to confirm every other thing. You, won't, you will have a close heaven. But confirm this one at once it will come. And you keep giving like a fool. Until one day someone advises you and say, Look, I know that, you know, this destiny, we take it easily. And God says, listen to me. And one day, in one year, when the rewarder of man, Ah! Oh, 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 oh. My help has come. Oh, 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 oh. My help has come. Listen, I will never forget the first time in my life I started seeing a strange manifestation of the Holy Spirit. It was during our second crusade. I remember going to minister in a church. That was the first time I would mention people's names and see them run out by the anointing like i mentioned your name and you run out i said what is this i've never seen this the signs don't go before the signs don't go with they follow you listen many of us believers let me teach you you are in a season right now where your failure does not mean god is not speaking are you hearing what i'm saying please listen very carefully the fact that you may not get it right physically does not mean the anointing is not on you the fact that you did the business and it failed does not mean that kingdom financing anointing is not on you the fact that you preached and your message looked like nonsense all the revelations you gathered evaporated is not demonic it's a track record go through it and see what you will make out of your life you pray for the first person he's not healed say lord while i'm learning what i did wrong who will i pray for again and god will say there is a cancer patient stage four in shika i say lord this is too much don't embarrass me like that and god says well it's up to you you can choose to disobey me when you look at that cancer patient even you by yourself you you'll be afraid what did you come to do here i i, I came to pray god sent me now i was and he said oh, yeah pray let's see as soon as you pray on your way going out you see that the person has died they say if if you are not careful we will arrest you and you go back and say god what did i do is it not the call and god says no son you continue i am birthing a mighty healing ministry through you a day will come listen a day will come in and through your life is no longer the issue of who is healed or who is not healed again your ego has been so strong it's now about obedience not results that is the day you will pass somebody on a wheelchair and he will get up you didn't plan the idea was not to pray for the sick but you had gotten to a point in the spirit where you are not an amateur again this is how god builds this man that you see my goodness I can't begin to tell you about my failures you think it's every message i preached that was impressive no what you see today is a track record of many years man of god i bring you a word of hope don't let any man despise you you know sometimes we men of god we have a way of intimidating especially younger people and we make them look like there's no hope for you it's a lie if god brought me where i am there is nobody that cannot rise with greater fire and grace don't fake visions if you are not seeing it be patient you can see a real vision start where you are and be patient take the risk you will make mistakes not you may you will but don't allow it dampen you you have to believe in your destiny enough to know apostle look at what i'm doing my life is empty god where are you uh -uh. Uh -uh. you may think that you had a revelation that this guy is your husband this girl is your husband you go and meet her and say sorry i'm engaged and you go back and say god but you spoke to me he says no problem you are learning how to hear you are learning spiritual precision a day will come you will be a master and your voice will be like the voice of god upon the earth and when they look at you remember 
remember brothers and sisters little samuel too had a problem when he was hearing god the man whose word never fell to the ground a day came he said is it god or not god eli i'm not sure the bible captures the story of his learning but now look at samuel a man like a god upon the earth another man looks at him and his donkey starts going back home what changed a track record of consistency are you ready to pray diligence add diligence to everything that has happened an unbending resilience lord you have called me into the worship ministry even if nobody invites me i will continue writing songs lord they may not place a demand on my grace but i will continue i will give my best to it i will pay the price brothers and sisters i guarantee you this that looks like a simple message if you pay attention tonight you will wear life out until the gate is open for you lift your voice and begin to bless him pray in the spirit for a few minutes
Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Moses was ordained and anointed to be a deliverer. He didn't know how to do it. He killed an Egyptian because he was not strategic. God took him. God did not take away the assignment. God showed him how he would do it. It will be by a rod, not a knife. Moses, you are called, but you are using the wrong tools. Some of you, you are called, but the tools you are using is why you are failing. You are called into business, but the tools you are using, you are called into ministry, but how you were mentored is why things are not working. The information given to you, it is true that you are a deliverer. You are called into the prophetic, but the way they taught you the prophetic is why it looks like divination. You were called into wealth and abundance, but the person who mentored you may have been a greedy person and he made it look like the call to kingdom wealth is a call to materialism. Lord, correct my strategy. Lift your voice and pray. Correct my strategy. Something is wrong, not with the vision, not with the assignment. The strategy may be wrong. Lord, correct my strategy. There is a way I'm doing ministry. That's why I'm not getting results. It's not the call, it's the strategy. Pray this prayer. Lord, correct my prayer strategy. Correct my Bible study strategy. Correct my leadership strategy. something i know i'm missing something please pray tonight why is my church not growing why is my ministry not growing lord i don't doubt the call but i doubt the strategy correct the strategy listen listen Please look up everyone hear me tonight's meeting is very powerful for many of you you don't need to correct the vision you don't need to correct the assignment you are right but the strategy is what is making the result to not come the business you are in is correct but the strategy the ministry is correct but the strategy you were not supposed to have a church it was an evangelical outfit you went to open a church now nobody is bringing money for cheers let me tell you you are not free till the pattern is given to you the pattern is the strategy it says go and fill seven vessels with water that was the strategy go around Jericho that was the strategy walk on water is not enough to want a miracle Lord, reveal the strategy for my result. For my result. Result in ministry. Result in my spiritual life. Lift your voice and pray. Reveal the strategy. Reveal the strategy. Hallelujah. Look up, please. We'll soon be done. I want us to pray over our finances. Look at me. Many of us here, this is where we really need God to come in. God has blessed you with all blessings. Right now, there are many of us, there's not much you can do with your finances. You are going to say, Lord, open my eyes. Where is my strategy? Not our strategy where is my strategy for ministry how do i finance ministry 
how do I finance my business Lord I'm about to get married Lord I'm married with three children what is the strategy lift up your voice and pray show me oh God every financial exploit comes with a solid strategy your ministry will never be financed until you receive a strategy your life and destiny may never be adequately financed until you receive a strategy what is the blueprint of God please pray koinonia don't take lightly this prayer Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. When it was time to cross the Red Sea, the strategy for Moses was take your rod, stretch it. The river parted, the ground lifted. When it was time for Joshua to lead the people through, listen, the strategy was that the, the, I think the, the, the priests, the, the, the Levites or so, went in front and then the Jordan parted. When it was time for Jesus, the strategy was not to part the water. You would die there waiting for water to part, whereas the strategy has changed. The fact that God is not doing something the way he did it yesterday doesn't mean he's, the, he's not the one doing it. Give us this day my strategy give me this day lord the strategy that started ministry from zero to hundred i've exhausted it what is the strategy from hundred to one thousand what is the strategy lord the strategy for my finances as a bachelor as a spinster i received it but now i'm married with three children what is the updated strategy for my daily bread Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone met me last week, a dear lovely man of God that I love so much. And he called, he said, Apostle, how are you doing it? You have been transporting people since Koinonia started. You are doing all of these things. You don't raise money. You don't do anything. You don't cajole. You don't invite preachers to raise. How do you do it? And I looked at him, I said, my brother, you must stay with God, not just to understand the call. Many of us, once you get the call, you just stand up and start running. No, the strategy is your advantage in any battle. Ask any military man. They call Operation ABC. That ABC is the strategy for the victory. If they say Operation this, the military people know that this is the formula we are using for the takeover strategy when we started i remember when god came and told me said son the last meeting for every month is dedicated for a miracle service it's a strategy you will just get up blindly and go and make the last meeting of your own program to a miracle service and not get any result because it is a strategy every strategy has an anointing on it you see us gather prayer requests here and i pray on it for Bishop Oyedeko, his strategy is the power of the spoken word. You may not see anybody fall down under the anointing while he is speaking. But the strategy is that he uses the creative word, power of the word. Or a robot, his strategy was to lay hands. He didn't just speak. If there were 1,000 people, or a robot will lay hands one by one. But if he touches you, be sure you are standing up. Strategy. For Benny Hinn is to worship very sensitive annoying worship sometimes he can tell everybody hush and you are saying what is this i remember once upon a time they had a program with archbishop benson idahosa and he was worshiping worshiping and one time idahosa came and collected the mic and said rain is coming 
and it was just started shouting and that's how people started getting healed because the strategies are different William Branham will stand and say the angel that was assigned to him has not come and that's how he will wear those people there William Branham will stand like a herbalist and say he's apologizing let the people be patient and then at a point he will just say the angel has come word of knowledge he will start moving in a strange way and people attacked him he said that's the blueprint that was given every man of God if he sits down and he's honest with you he will tell you the strategy there is how I know the power of God is ready to move I can't teach you I can teach you generically but there is a strategy it's like the palm of your hand is wired for your use as a man of God I cried to God I said Lord what is the financial strategy for this ministry because this ministry will grow and now the the mass media that is supposed to be an avenue most churches raise finances a major part of the finance that runs ministry is from the media and now God is saying give the messages free don't sell anything imagine the hundreds of millions of naira that it would have brought and now it has gone Lord you have to reveal it ah when he comes to you my God when my God comes to you he will tell you something that does not make sense but you are stupid enough to take it as a strategy you will join those who are clapping for you to wonder and say Lord I fear you hallelujah yes there is a strategy there is a way we do ministry here it's a strategy that God gave for Dr. Lukoya is prayer he will raise prayer points and you will pray and while you are praying in that prayer the power of God is moving and touching people there are many people for Papa Ia Deboye he will stand and in the calmness of his voice make a prophetic declaration and people will come for Reverend Dr. Uma Okpai he will raise a song and while he is dancing and singing people are rising up don't copy strategies receive strategies listen I assure you and I want you to hear me as we round up believe me when I tell you this that you will never fail you walk with these truths that I teach you you walk with these things that I tell you it is arrogant to unnecessarily tamper with the equations many people they don't have results yet but they tamper with the equations receive it with childlike faith don't let anybody tell you this thing doesn't matter do they have the results you are looking for there are many proud people and I say this with every sincerity of heart there are many proud people without results who go around talking against people who have tremendous results love everybody but don't give your ears to people who don't have results you will become like them no man can give what he doesn't have faith is not just believing unseen things um, they don't have to be unseen faith is not just believing unseen things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true Bible faith the foundation for true Bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true Bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the Holy Spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction you'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering no sir encounters are necessary for believers that's why the Holy Spirit was given to us the spirit of truth are we together now so he introduces encounters in our lives you can read the Bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it 
and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the Holy Ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion unbending resolve persuasion about the possibility of God as far as that matter is concerned are we blessed second timothy please chapter 1 and verse 12 let's look at second timothy 1 verse 12 the b part second timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 the b part says for i know whom i have believed everybody say i know whom i have believed now you went to school understand that construction it didn't say i have believed uh -uh. i know whom so it's talking about a person first i had an encounter and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him are we together now and then he says and i am persuaded that he that person i've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of god's ability i have had an encounter with him i have had an encounter with his word so when i read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um the haze that is around our encounters with the word of god not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if i look at this gentleman right now and i tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat are we together he's had an encounter with that seat his his even his physical senses have have responded to that reality he knows he's sitting no matter how i try to sway him he has entered a dimension of resolve he knows he's sitting on a seat if i tell him this seat is going to break he says no not just that i, I have seen the dimensions i understand the strength of this seat it can take my weight listen God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be, seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys. They are fierce. And so is it okay if I ask for a sign? It is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced. I know that there are people here, pastors who have come from several places. Let me challenge you. Do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter. It will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry you will lack explanations you will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction 
of who God is and the integrity of his word. That's faith. Until action is taken, there is no faith. Are we together now? I've always given this example. Um, let me use you, John. Hold on. I'm going to stand there. Stand there. Just stand there. I'm going to call John. I want you to answer me, but don't come. Is that all right? John, come. Say, I'm coming. Has he come? So as far as I'm concerned, you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience. Now, you have answered that you are coming, but you have not come. I interpret your not coming as a sign that you, you are expressing concern about my reliability. You are wondering if I really have this. But if I say, John, come, and you come, come. That step of faith puts pressure on my integrity. If I am joking, I better found a way of correcting it. Are we together now? Yes. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4, listen. The Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer. And then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled. Now, they were not stupid. That man was crippled. If you've seen a crippled man, you know that there are no strength in his limbs. Even if he stands, you know that he would take the grace of God. And then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms. And then Peter said, silver and gold have I none. He said, but such as I have. Listen, I give unto you. He says, in the name of Jesus, I come under an authority. I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government. And I ask you, if you believe, stand. The Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities, but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood. He would have remained there forever. He leaping stood. Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important because faith is based on a basis and the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the holy ghost helps your own belief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that god is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barring and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you're seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging 
their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the lord your tithe are we together now no matter how much you confess your heavens opening you must take that action and if you take that action not believing you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of melchizedek right like he received the tithe of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called siloam that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising god and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we search scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir 
it will always come from God through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen God did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed There are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away there are people here with sicknesses diseases infirmities real sicknesses probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals and um maybe they've told you you have a few months to live you have a few weeks to live now and of course we have a lot of doctors here i respect their opinion that's their opinion is their educated opinion but tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words There are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues. Husband is about to go. Wife is about to go. Children are haywire and they are trusting Lord would you give us order. Of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order. I mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of God's understanding and he can deal with it. Because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if God is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the God we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting God for children and all of that I came back from Abuja um, in the course of the week and um, when I went there I was I was counseling a few people and then I saw a young lady I think a, a couple or so I can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time I was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting God for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes I don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice 
anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for God wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty Lord what is the way out Lord what is the way out I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen there are people here trusting God for direction. You have come confused, not knowing what to do. You thought you had God, but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you. I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction. And finally, all of these are lists that the Spirit of God was just writing out for me as I, I mean just stating out as I, I, I wrote them out. And lastly, there are people here trusting God for very strong impartations. What is an impartation? A transference of possibilities. Transference of possibilities. Impartation is as real as the chair you are sitting on. You can transfer possibilities. Possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this i want you to know that the god of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies it's going to be a very quick walk tonight the Lord is going to be healing the sick the Lord is going to be setting the captives free and like I told us last week it is also an anointing service and I don't I don't do anointing services carelessly but there are instructions that God gave me the anointing oil that will be used tonight the Lord asked me it's been with me since uh, I think yesterday I prayed with it all through until um, it was only this morning while I was coming that I carried it and brought it. There is a heavy grace. Oil does not anoint. The oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed. Nothing is anointed on its own. It has to be anointed to become a platform. Are we together now? Tonight, what is your responsibility? Be convicted. Be persuaded that God is able. All that has happened before now, the prayers, the testimonies, and all of that is to build your faith. Some of you are coming here for the first time. You've heard about the miracles. Many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God. Everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing. We have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake. Everybody is a devil. Everybody is using charm. You know, I humorously said it last week. Uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe 
Say, Lord, tonight I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden, you will find out that that door that has been closed, maybe forever. Listen, it doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the Spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the Spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight. And insist. Thank you. And say Lord that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while. That you get up in the morning and within three days, one door opens, another door opens, another dimension of encounter. All of a sudden, hunger. All of a sudden, you step back to your church and fire on the altar. I mean, just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles, signs and wonders. You bless people, you shake someone's hand, and all through that day, a door opens. You introduce something. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural. Supernatural. Not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results. Literally, that your life becomes a testament. That they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas. And they call them Zeus and Hermes. Greek gods. Because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though god is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say lord i have seen a dimension of your grace but i must step into it lord i have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you over. You have the victors around. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is the dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive. The spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors, come speed, come speed, lose chains, lose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations 
diminish the power of God it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of god's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or an unbeliever whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for christians a dimension of god's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with god men have covenant with god not old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you will fit us around you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You will defeat us around. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream now you know I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we used to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time I noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up I don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me I started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and I was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left I just locked the door and I sat down and boom my room was full of God's presence and all of that and, and I, I when I sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden I saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say father I'm set for your visitation my faith is alive and I believe you lift your voice and pray my faith is alive I believe you Jabrandos Katapracatalados Encreto Catalabrande Secatepracatalabadas Jabrete Catepros Codobrandi Gedibalas Jabrandis Cariada Balarabalarabos Mambrotos Sodopracatabarada Balarabalarabalas Lord we receive we receive Hallelujah. 
we are going to be very fast tonight is a vigil i know that in fact you can't believe how far time has gone but i trust god for grace tonight i want to see how god will grant me grace and i'll be able to come out to all the overflows all the overflows one two three by the grace of god and he will grant us grace in the name of jesus christ 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 please bring the three people now that the power of god comes i'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here all inside here now Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Karato sodo braska da bali atakata. Open up the gate. Kabranda gata sodo bosko la bari atakata. Open up the door. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys, you know this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One, two, three. Take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Take it, take it, take it, box right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos. E prekete kaya. No limitation. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost, breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia, embrekete ketos, shakato setash. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus this is a baptism keys that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing a bunch of keys lord jesus for your glory let the closed door open at the count of three one two three the name that is above all names access in the realm of the spirit Shapato sote lekata I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost access to dimensions access to levels access to possibilities close doors opening the Lord showed me gates and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, 
there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass around and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of Jesus miracles in the name of Jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the Holy Ghost miracles in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles I release you now I release you now I release you now I release you now step into anointings step into graces in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of the Living God there are chains I'm seeing on people's hands chains 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 breaking now chains breaking now chains breaking now get ready this road I see chains 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 let it break now let it break now in the name of Jesus let it break now now by the power of the Holy Ghost let it break now in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking in the name of Jesus chains breaking chains breaking Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus broken you can't stand it that chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost 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 I'm seeing the hand of the Lord a wind of his spirit coming here Lord what is happening here in the name of Jesus Shebas kotos kaba embreke to shetele keta brata soto shopres keya ambrata ya I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit out of a pit out of a pit in the name of Jesus the son of the living God out of a pit I proclaim it the spirit of the Lord is upon me and I decree and declare I decree and declare captivity ended in the name of Jesus I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring leaves now. That demonic ring leaves now. I see it by the Spirit. That demonic ring leaves now. I curse it by the God of heaven. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings. Rings. I curse it by the God of heaven. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Ata paratoshi, ente karato kotoba, shekretos kilabaya, embreketo koshubreke. Can I go out? Rata karoto shubreke deka. Those outside, I want you to get ready. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika Ekreto Sopraka Maleketo Shekreskaya Embrekete Ketelekata Shabrakato Skelea Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, 
no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass these roads. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that devil. Madame, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying and the Lord is saying in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. There's else in this young man. Be God now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, out, now, out, now, out, now, out, now, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, be gone. In the name of Jesus, look at me, my dear. The Lord is saying, I should tell you that your sins are over, over. In the name of Jesus, over now. In the name of. Say, no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Fear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. Now. In the name of Jesus. There's someone here, I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here, God wants to. Now, declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands, all of you. Lift your hands. Now, listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this, four now, three, overflow, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus, something is going to happen right to the back, I'm seeing fire, one, two, three, now, 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 cause those spirits, I release breakthroughs now, in this overflow, in the name of Jesus, to the back, the name of the Lord is a strong tower, I'm seeing several of you inside pit. Come out now. Come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on. Be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Is El Ato Supreme There is something God is touching you. The first four rows inside, inside the main building, first four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside. 
came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you, Salome. Come, stand here. In the name of Jesus. I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we should pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please, don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. the end of it lord i set them free help them under the anointing please there is somebody the spirit of the lord is ministering to me i don't know what god is people outside there is somebody around here want to prophesy to the person bring the person that's the person in the name of jesus christ i'm i'm seeing a snake god my god i'm seeing a not not this person i'm seeing a snake and the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. And Lord, that person right now, I pray in the name of Jesus, let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, here it is, it's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Out now. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to me very fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oh God, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you. Because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very much because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to stand up. There's anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God, 
I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is it you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness, leaves, every trace of darkness leaves, 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 leaves now, leaves now, 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 leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, it must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This road. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is renewing, renewing, renewing. I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, shate se kotas kalapratia, embrekete ke. Please help them, my God. Shembra katos koto pradisha la pariata kata. Ekros kete po shabre neke tala. Le kreto se kras kada barata pash. Embreketia, my sister. You are praying, and I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears, and the Lord is saying I should that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. Edo State. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm pray for you. Please. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Now, see this thing the Lord shows me all the time. Please, everybody lift your hands inside or outside. Lift your hands now. I'm seeing a map. I don't know why God always shows me this. I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State. Now, everyone from Benway State, get ready. The anointing of God comes upon you now. Benway State. Benway State. The Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekratos, Kalatos, inside and outside, Benway State, Benway State, inside, outside, Benway State, I see breakthroughs coming, Benway State, anointings, Mata Lakota, is a sign and a word that the Lord does, where he locates people by states, locates people by states, I'm praying now, if you're in Benway State, this unction is on you, the work is on you, inside, my God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing, oh, to go, oh, to go. 
breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs. Or to go, Jakato Sekete, Egreto Shalabariata, Embrakato Jataya Lakosata. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you're, I'm standing close to you and your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus, you are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe, I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace. This evening, there are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Eni. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you are writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We are talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, Southern Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover, the cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the Spirit of the living God. By the Spirit of the living God. By the Spirit of the living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. 
Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is, is, these are not just miracles they are called signs and wonders they are operations of the spirit you can see me call a state and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit it's not some magic these are operations these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living God I want to pray for the lady in Italy in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle right now a miracle right now Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe. The devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. 
When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where's your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand in your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now. End it right now. Family. God is touching the families. In the name of Jesus. It is not by power. It's not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. It's not by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? going to three years did she have a child before no but my brother has did she take in before no hmm. this person is wearing red i will pray for you but i'm seeing somebody wearing red this is the person in the vision the lord is showing me who is that this is the person i saw but i will pray with you listen i want you to believe that no barren person, there is no need to go back without a child. It's, it's, there is not necessary. Hold on, I'm not just praying for barren people at random, but just let them come since they're here. We'll pray for people. We're about to pray for people now. We'll take our time to minister. The anointing is there. You see that even the vigils, sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning. Praise the Lord. My friend, you love Jesus? Kai. Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes. Uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things. But this guy, your own is acute. You are here. But truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing that you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you are inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now 
My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He, ha he has two children. I'm, how many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes... Uh, huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? I uh, can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing, the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady. Come and join him. I'm seeing a lady. Don't be embarrassed. Please, Jesus is setting you free. There is a lady. You can't help yourself. This is not the issue of being good or bad. Please run boldly and come. If you waste our time, you just sit where you are. One lady, there is a lady. This thing has destroyed. It's not like you like it, but you can't help it. It comes upon you like an anointing, and you have to come. My dear, let's pray. We have to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take him now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus, you're standing for yourself? your sister if i ask for people who have who want children except you are standing for somebody if you are standing for yourself make sure you are you have a husband or a wife praise god we, we are bible believers but we are not stupid people make sure you are married officially because i know that there are people who just live together um you don't you don't love god and then we have to stay of course god is merciful the spirit of god is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for in the name of jesus let there be miracles we are a family nobody looks down and embarrasses there's no condemnation here whatsoever we are here to help we are here to show you the message of god hold my hands my dear this is a lady ah no this is not how the person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned... Um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, he's from Benue State, sir. Eh? He's from Benue State. He's from Benue See how the guy is yes, staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are saying. <laughs> 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 
It's a very long distance. Stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy. He's a nice person. This, this is what we, we and Co can do. Let's pray. Let's pray. My friend, don't worry. We are praying for you. Eh? It's not just you. Stretch your hands, saints of God. You are anointed. Let's pray for him. Lord, help this gentleman. Please, I still insist, this lady, if God grants you grace, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. We love you. And in the name of Jesus, we pray for you sincerely. By the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We're still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? Sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear, come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes this thing. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Kaya. Rukaya. Rukaya. Come. I love you. Where? Eh? Come. You're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits you can be growing older and still remain you believe the lord jesus will help you hmm? Thank you. you've tried to stop this thing abby yes and you will try and it won't work yes problems keep coming up that i just can't stop what do you take i smoke i take drugs i drink you drink yes ah. Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges. Their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies... It's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it in the name of love in the name of relationship and and in the name of wanting to marry you they derail you from the path of god anybody who must make you leave god to marry you is not an irresponsible person that prayer has already been answered the answer is no leave the person quickly don't say i'm waiting on god god is not a fool 
Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you. I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that um, you know your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that song? Gashinai, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yana. Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna, Circuit Aljana, Yana, Gashina, Gamuna, Yana. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction. And my God, what a joy to life. Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Jabratos Kalabrende Geva Sarabakuria Takatash. Jabratos Sobredi Shikarata Stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Mandala Kapratos Kata Vridish Kalabraniakata. Unto you that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Le Kratoske, are you praying? Father, we agree. We agree for miracles. We agree for sins. We agree for wonders. Mante Kalas Kotambriatos is Yata Katalo Karusia. Bredo Gosho Bredis Kalabrata Kataparadash. Le kata prando sosi priata. E kata. Ja prata she prega de bosh. Pray. We receive miracles. We receive signs. We receive wonders. In the name of Jesus. Lord, release miracles to families. Release signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let impossible situations come under the influence of your spirit. Makoto pa shabrada ka sode barato sesiana kosh agrada ka barato ko shobrendi ke de balato siada kata shabra ka barako to sobrigedia rabada ka balada ko so sobriada balada bosh in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we decree and declare agree with me right now let every impossible situation Turn into a miracle right now. Jekoto so pakuta priyakata kasu tegedia. Lord, this is a representation of the cries and the desires of your people scattered around this place and many across the nations of the world. Lord, we agree that you are a miracle worker and we decree and declare that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. We decree that these requests are turned into testimonies in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Visit the barren, heal the sick, deliver the oppressed, wipe the tears of your people. By the power of your word, let there be miracles. We release miracles, 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 miracles 
in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we thank you we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ we call it done in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now we're getting to the last phase we're going to pray on this hallelujah let me tell you something about this oil you are seeing is is truly an oil of wonder I spent uh, the night praying no oil in itself is anointed please be careful don't hurt her don't ah uh, hold on <laughs> they are wondering what to do with her my dear be comfortable okay this your case is a very straightforward demonic case your bones are fine everything is fine you've taken this just relax um, if she doesn't feel the strength to stand on force her or you can just guide her who brought her how did she come you carried her can you carry her are you that strong this is night vigilo okay take her gradually you try to walk to where well while they are carrying you please when you keep her exercise there's no reason oh dear there's no reason why this lady should go back crippled honestly speaking it's not that her bones are broken just all these demonic things so i was talking about this oil um there is a ritual when people begin to idolize things oil water handkerchiefs aprons um, um, stickers banners they lose the life in it religion is a very terrible thing it's important you do things according to the word of god and as directed by the holy spirit last week was an anointing service for favor and um, we're going to name this one now and then we'll pour it and then we'll have um, our anoint these guys and then we'll do it very quickly whilst we're doing that please the moment you come touch the anointing oil on your head please and please we'll make it very fast you can see that it's already five o'clock it's almost as if um, it was not a vigil <laughs> praise god father we give you all the praise I lift up this jar of oil and in the name of Jesus Christ we call it an oil of breakthrough say amen we decree and declare let this oil be a symbol of supernatural breakthrough the supernatural oil that came from my hands that was added to this I pray that the mystery of breakthrough that this represents as it comes upon you let there be strange signs and wonders Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. let this provoke angelic visitations Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ and let this cause the Holy Spirit to move in your life in a mighty way the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord is upon me and the reason why he's upon me is because I was anointed in the name of Jesus, may the anointing attract dimensions of the operations of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, we dedicate this. I command this oil to lose its earthly significance and to take on the significance of a mystery in the realm of the Spirit, representing breakthrough. At the same time, let this be an oil of judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this be an oil of judgment by the power of the Holy Spirit. God's ability, God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. We have to say it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I'm anointing you so that you will stand. And as I lay my hands, I pray that this grace of breakthrough and favor will start from you first. I want you to believe it. This is an oil that will bring supernatural breakthrough in your own life. Supernatural grace, supernatural grace, supernatural grace. Anointing of the Holy Ghost in fresh dimensions. In the name of Jesus, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, that grace, that anointing, in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, so you can give it to them. Father, we decree and declare. This is an oil of supernatural breakthrough. I can always add, please quickly station yourselves. We're going to be praying all through. As soon as, 
as soon as the oil touches you, please, I want you to begin to pray. Worship team, you give us. Uh, okay, just play the instruments. We'll just begin to pray in the spirit. Everyone praying in the spirit. As the oil comes upon you, begin to declare, speak forth, release your faith. Lord, we decree and declare right now. Let miracles begin. Let signs and wonders and breakthroughs begin in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. You can stand here. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. As soon as you touch the oil, begin to prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare the word of the Lord becomes my testimony. The oil is anointed. Mande brada scala brede chefre de seca to prata kata balada ba. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. Make sure everyone is anointed. Make sure everyone is anointed. Young, old. Zambra di kaso di briada balada bos. Madi brasa zize anakushada cross kala ba. Please keep standing, everybody. It's morning already. I want to make an altar call quickly. Our time is up. It's just two minutes to six. Please keep standing. No moving around inside, outside. There are people here. You have seen the power of God. You have seen the grace of God. And you're saying, Apostle, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to hand my life over to God like the dear lady who came out um, and many other people. I know that it is morning, but it should not rob you. The greatest miracle, literally and truthfully, is an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, you are inside, you are outside, any of the overflows online, you are following and you are saying, man of God, I want you to pray with me. And at the same time, there are people, you have given your heart to the Lord, but things happen around your life, your life went haywire and you need, you are saying, I, I cannot go back the way I came. I want to have this restoration, this encounter. I'm rededicating my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, please, we have just two minutes for you. Inside, outside, please clear the way for them. Make sure you don't discourage them. Let's appreciate them as they come. Wherever you are, God bless you. Make your way to the front. Are you appreciating them? They are coming. Please run, run quickly. Inside, outside. If you're coming, I want you to run. God bless you. God bless you. Clap hands for them. They are coming. God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Keep coming. Don't let anyone stop you. If you are joining them, please come quickly. Clear the way for them. Overflow one, two, three, and then the fourth one. Those online connect with us. I'm about to lead them to a very special prayer. Very special prayer. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to lift your right hand and pray this after me sincerely from your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the son of God tonight come join them quickly tonight you're coming from outside quickly 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 join them join them let's be very fast let's be very fast quickly say after me all of you standing here say Lord Jesus I believe in you that you are the son of God I ask you to cleanse me forgive my sins I believe you, you were raised from the dead and now you are alive. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare by the authority of scripture that I'm a child of God. I decree and declare that the grace to live a victorious life is given to me right now. I go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. And we decree and declare that this will begin the beginning of a great journey in their lives. I, I declare that your sins are forgiven. I command that the power of sin, the power of flesh, the power of Satan is broken over your life in the name of Jesus. You go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Now very quickly, I want you, there's a gentleman waving his hands. I want you to follow him quickly. They'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and communicate a few details to you. God bless you. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching this from. And then if you 
got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life, that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise, I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 